back in the classroom. A little bit sweaty, to be honest with you. I don't know why I'm still wearing a sweatshirt. So we're gonna make some paper flowers for the classroom. To make like, I don't know, probably like one more for next, maybe two more of the big ones for next to that blue one, and then little ones. So we're gonna make paper flowers. I, I only use these ones. So these ones are by, designed by Noella, M-Z-I-N-D-A is the last name. Anyone can craft. Awesome. I print them out on 8x12, so these are the smaller ones. Um, and then this is what... Season 5 of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood is now on PBS Kids Video. You're welcome, everybody. Thing to need. Hot glue gun. Hot glue stick. And I use tacky glue. So there's a method to all my madness. I'm gonna peel the flower. It's gonna be pretty. Honey, it's gonna be so pretty. Yeah. So what I do is I do like a gradient of color. I do like purple to light purple to lighter purple, I guess. So whatever. So you need 16 of your biggest size. So what I do is, if it's possible, what I do is I'm just gonna trace all of them first, like all of one size first. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just cut them later. So two. Four. Six. Now, just as a pause, I'm going to actually do two more than 16. So I'm going to do 18 because I did, I think I did 18 big ones on my last one, the blue one, and that was really nice. So that's it. So now I'm going to, I do um, two, paper, two card, cardstock papers at a time. If you don't have like good scissors, then you might end up killing your hands, but I think it's easier to do it this way than it is uh, to do it one at a freaking time. But this is a huge labor of love. What you can also do is with your here is cut up the middle. So when you cut your line, it's gonna go halfway up, halfway up, well, a little bit more, depending on how why spread out why do you want it? it the smaller you cut down the middle the small um the more of a bucket your um flower will look like like my the orange one that i need or when i first started making these i actually didn't watch a tutorial i just kind of assumed i knew what i was doing and i made my lines all way too small so all of my flowers I mean, they look really nice, but they were kind of like buckets. Hi. Hi. This string, I don't leave on the floor. Um, you will eat it. Won't you eat it, you, you cutie? What we're gonna do now, after we did the big ones, we're gonna take our tacky glue. No, 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 you're not gonna go on the flowers. And I literally take it, and I'm like a factory worker. I just take it and I glue. You don't need a whole lot of glue, mostly down at the bottom you're gonna need the glue. Are you gonna lay right in front of the camera, dude? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just glue up, put, I put glue on all of them so it gets a little bit tacky. What I do is I'll take the cap, cap it, and then I, I leave my glue sitting like this so that it all falls to the bottom. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, no. So what we're gonna do is you take it like this, the part goes under like so, and you hold it there for a little bit, and then you have a nice petal. So what I do with my petals is I end up, I'll put them on the floor and I'll stack them like this, not so the glue part touches. That's all the big petals down there. Now for this one, this one's the next step size down. You can do two per page. 
So for these, all I do is I, so all I do for these ones is I trace around it. And now you have to get it close to the edge to do this. So I'll show you why. Get it close to the edge of the paper, like so. And you're gonna trace around it. And then all you have to do to cut it out after is just fold the paper in half. So you get double duty from the paper. You may ask why are you doing this on the floor? Good question. Because it's comfortable and if I were to sit in a chair, I'd be doing this anyway. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because my little leg can't reach the floor that much. I know that I'm not a crazy person and that we actually do have chairs in this house and tables that I could be sitting at. Any more pop open? I have one pop open. Sometimes because you use tacky glue, um, they can kind of come undone. I used to use hot glue when I did the petals. A, it burns your fingers. B, you go through a ton of hot glue um, if you use it for the petals. Um, so that's why I just use it for the flowers now. So the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a plain piece of paper and I'm gonna just make kind of a, I'm gonna guess a circle. We don't use a circle. Um, and this is why I keep scrap paper because nobody cares about the back. You don't see my face, but you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna move all these little baby petals over here. Scooch, guys. We're gonna take two of these petals and you're just gonna start overlapping them like this. I just make a line with the hot glue, attach the petal. Some people, I mean, you can use the tacky glue for this as well. I just like the hot glue because it's, um, it's an instant satisfaction type of deal. Eight around. And you will get the hang of this after a while. Um, if you want a bigger flower, space them out a little bit more. If you want a smaller flower, bring them together a little bit closer. And they're super easy to make. Whoops. This is not, oh, it's going to, but it's not going to lie. So if your paper circle, you can always just, I add some glue underneath it, all around, glue it up. I'll try to get your petals like in between the other petals so that, and bring, start bringing them in towards the middle of the circle. So. And ta-da! You got a beautiful paper flower. Woo! So pretty. So the next step is, remember how we put that, um, we put that string on the back, right? Or the circle? So hopefully you didn't 
glue down the sides. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, but this isn't like an official tutorial. So what I do is I take my pink screen, boom, done it. You don't need a lot. I tie a loop in it, like so. It looks like that, that. And then I'm gonna find just a spot somewhere where I didn't really heavily glue it, so I'm to glue it on. Like I said, it's not a perfect science, that's for sure. Ow. Mm. So that should be it. Put the string up there. Oh no, it got in my leggings. That's a good thing. So just kind of press it down until it is ready to go. And then I'm going to find something so I can put that all the way up there. Can you tell my legs like right there? I only found one pin. Now let's see if my... I wanted it like way up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think? Wow, that's cool. Yep. I like it. Yep. That's good. 